Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Sandy, your visual artist here on the internet. So this is going to be a quick year in a review as a visual artist. And yeah, let's get right into the video. First of all, I want to start off by saying this year was an exciting year for me. It definitely turned out better than I'd expected. So I've been creating art for quite a while now. I've started creating art since elementary school, but I never really saw myself doing it on a professional level until I'll probably say uh, after I graduated high school and I had a lot of free time on hand. So I pretty much just started investing my time into art. Fast forward to late 2019, 2020, that's when I got into digital painting and it just kind of opened it opened the world for me to see that there are so many ways artists could create art. And I pretty much just dive right in and started learning how to create digital art. So that is what led me up to wanting to pursue art full time as a career, because I saw how efficient I could work as a visual artist using just an iPad and an Apple pencil to create art and i saw so much potential in it and ever since then 2020 i've been creating digital paintings that journey had led me up to now 2023 when i had my very first art show in chicago illinois with black boys art show a brand that i have been following on instagram for a while and they host these events art exhibits for artists it started off with black girls art show and then it created the black boys version or the male versions. The art show was in May, so I got accepted, went for the art show. I have a video of me preparing for that art show here on my YouTube channel. So I'll put the link below this video if you want to check that out. And it's also on my homepage for my YouTube channel. So you definitely find it when you go to previous videos I've uploaded here to my YouTube channel. What I was surprised about the most is how much impact my art had on people. It was my first time to see people buy an artwork from me and they're really excited about it. Because honestly, some of the work I sold were paintings I've done two years ago. I never really had them up for sale until preparing for this art show, I went ahead and created some prints of some of the paintings, the digital paintings I did around about 2022, 2021, 2022. Chicago show went well. I definitely learned a lot from it. And moving on to the next art show I had was in Houston, Texas. It was Black Boys Art Show again. So the art show in Houston, Texas, it went well. And apart from the Black Boys Art Show I went for in Houston, Texas, I also had a family reunion that I had to attend. I had to present some artworks of some of my relatives. So my grand aunt, she had told me to do some paintings of some of my grand aunties. And yeah, I went ahead and delivered on that. It definitely, the, the family reunion definitely turned out well. And I also did a painting of one of my uncle and his son. And he loved that painting. He actually paid me for the painting. You know, I wasn't expecting that, but he paid me for the painting. And so most of my family members at the reunion was my first time meeting them ever in my life. And then moving up next, the next art show I had. So this happened in Louisville, Kentucky. I currently live in Shepherdsville, so it's another city next to Louisville. But I'm in Louisville almost every day because that is where I work. And this show didn't quite turn out as I hoped or was expecting. Because honestly, this was the show I prepared for the most. This was the show I invested the most money. I mean, I'm talking almost $3,000 I invested into this show. This was the most amount of money I spent just preparing for an art show. So that is to just kind of give you a scope of how big this show was. And it just didn't turn out how I expected. I had some confrontation with the host of the show um, it, it wasn't that I didn't want to be there, 
but it's just some of the things that we're saying. I was able to meet some people who was interested in me and interested in the work that I do. So yeah, I was able to sell some artworks. I would say I learned a little bit from it, what I could do better next time, preparing for a bigger art show. But overall, it was okay. You know, I had a TV interview the first day of the show. This was a three days event. And then the rest of the event, you know, um, yeah, it just kind of went on, I guess. Definitely a lot more people <laughs> than I was expecting. Moving on, the very last art show I had this year was with Black Boys Art Show as well. And this was in Atlanta, Georgia. So going for this event, <laughs> it was exciting, but at the same time, kind of exhausting because I had to drive six hours to Atlanta. Um, surprisingly, I guess, driving to Atlanta didn't feel far, but I think coming back, uh, that was where it was a little difficult because I drove six hours straight to Atlanta nonstop. I took less artwork compared to other art shows I've gone for, but um, overall the Atlanta show was okay. The venue wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be, but overall I met some dope artists and it was definitely a great networking art show. I was able to connect with other artists who are interested in, you know, wanting to be uh, other art shows that I'm interested in as well. And I was able to make some new friends. Attending art show is great. It's great for networking. It's great for being able to sell some of my artworks and connect with collectors and art enthusiasts. So, it's something I see myself continuing to do as an artist. I'm definitely gravitating towards being a more independent artist where I also want to be able to host my own art shows and be able to exhibit my work a little bit more different than just, you know, going to an art show. Hope you were able to get an idea of what my year looked like as a visual artist and getting out there. It was a little uncomfortable for me but it was a huge learning curve and I'm looking forward to putting up more videos here on my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you're new, feel free to subscribe and that's all I have for this video. Stay safe out there and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.